I'm back with another tutorial video. This tutorial is how to make a message announcement CV2. Let's get into it. First up the tutorial, go to your palette and search up button. After you get your button, get a two string. When you have your two string, insert to string format. Go to palette and search up a prompt local player. Back to tools, go to connect. Wire the pressed on the button to the prompt local player and wire the two string of the player to string to the first value of two string format. Configure the string format and go to add input. Go back to connect and wire the response of the prompt local player to the second value of the string format. Now get event receiver, event definition, and event sender. Go to tools, go to configure, configure the event definition, and name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it message. Scroll down a little bit till you see add new property. Click on type and find string. Name it anything you would like. And your new event definition should look like this. Once you have that, Go to the event sender, configure it, click on event, and click on message. Whatever you name this event definition, change it to that event sender. Now go to event receiver and configure it, and scroll down until you find your event. Now go to tools and connect, wire the string format to the text on the event sender and wire prompt local player complete to the event sender input. Then get a player show subtitle, then wire the output of the event receiver to the input of player show subtitle. Then wire the string to subtitle. For the duration are like six seconds. Inside of the string format, type this character in. I usually call it a fancy bracket. So fancy bracket zero. You close it, hold it, then you open the bracket, one, and close the bracket. The reason why I'm putting zero and one, it varies between how many values you have inside of the string format. So for this instance, I have two values, and when you do coding, every index starts with zero. So this first value, instead of it being one and counting down, it starts from zero. All right, this is all you need for the message announcement but I'm gonna add one extra thing. If you only want owners to be able to use this button and send a message, get a player, get his room owner, and get an if. Why are the result of the player get his room owner to the condition of the if, and why are target of the player get his room owner to the player on button? Then why are the pressed on the button to the if input and wire the then on the if to the input of the prompt local player. So now it's saying the person that clicks this button, if they're a room owner, it'll output a true. And if that's true, then it'll send the prompt local player. And whatever they type in this response will send to the stream format. And the player that uses it will be put in the first value for the string format. And the message of the event sender should say their name and the message they sent. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. See you guys in the next one.